Welcome to the easy tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a brush and how to uh, make an icon for your brush and how to make a blank template so you can always use it next time you make a brush. Okay, what I'm going to do here instead of using the hotkeys I'm just going to go ahead and click everything here so I can show you and I'm going to select the flat color and I'm going to choose, choose the color black with a RGB always to zero and I'm going to go to layer and fill then I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to create a layer and I'm going to take the document size and I'm going to resize it 350 by 350 I unselected the pro here. Select this back over to white, and I'm going to choose Toys Plastic here. And I'm going to bring out a Z sphere, and I'm going to get it in edit mode. And the reason why I choose 350 by 350 because when I hit the F key on the keyboard, it pretty much uh, Put it in the square there. Now, if I go to uh, render and fast render, you can, if you can see in the video, I still got a, a white uh, outline on the Z sphere. So, I'll exit edit mode and drag out a little bit on the Z sphere here. Then I'm going to go ahead to the marker and I'm going to mark it. Then I'm going to go to edit and undo, but see my marker still in there if I move my cursor. So I'm going to use this as my template. So I'm going to go to document and save as. I'm going to overwrite this document here. It's called brush ICO as an icon. Okay, now let's say I started up ZBrush. All I would need to do is open up, open my brush ICO. And I would select a Z sphere and make it a polymesh 3D and move my cursor in the middle where the markers at and just click one time hit edit mode we'll go back over to render to make sure that's on preview render and I'll turn on the polyframes and we want to get the uh, poles on the Z sphere straight down hold the shift key and what I'll do is go to the geometry and I'll divide this a couple times okay now I want to make a uh, I want to make a brush for this so I'll use uh, let's say drag dot and I'm gonna choose an alpha okay now this is gonna be my image here. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. You want to make them quite large because they're a lot easier to see in the uh, for the icon here. Okay now I will exit edit mode. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to uh, export the PSD in the uh, doc folder. I'm just gonna go ahead and overwrite that one okay I'm gonna go back into edit mode so I can get my brush back up here I'm open up the brush palette and I'm going to select an icon for my brush and I'll select the brush ICO here open this up and now when I uh, let me turn my brush size down <laughs> if I hoover over it you can see the standard brush is uh, it's got the icon here so now I need to save it save it you need to put the uh, ZBP and the brush set folder in a startup and I'm gonna give this a name as in test and we're gonna save that and you can see if I switch over here let me move this over here now I have my uh, 
new icon with my uh, new brush here so let me go ahead and uh, preference intelize this and we'll see if that brush will work here We'll scale this up and we'll select the test brush here and as you can see let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it and that's how you make a icon and a brush with this tutorial thank you very much